question is, is do I remember Mickey Love? <laughs> I remember him most sincerely, folks. <laughs> Definitely. He used to wear a tuxedo, he danced extremely well, he was a very good tap dancer. We had these kid shows in those days. And before they went on, I used to ask each and every one of the kids separately, I'd say, what do you want to be when you grow up? Dear Hugh, what a prick. The kids would say, well, I want to be a football player, I want to be a jockey, I want to be an aviator. And I asked Mickey the same question. I said, what do you want to be when you grow up, son? He looked me straight in the eye. And I can remember the exact words he used. He said, I'm going to be you. But next up on the sofa, we've got a very special guest indeed, and a close personal friend of mine. Entertainment began when he was seven years old. This is a man who's had more than his fair share of life's ups and downs. <laughs> By the age of 30, he'd lost everything. The next 11 years were spent fighting a much publicised battle against alcoholism, which happily he's won. And it's a measure of the man that he's made a terrific comeback with his hit game show, Family Values. And he's even found time to write a book, aptly entitled Last orders, please. Well, here to tell us all about it is a broadcasting legend and a lousy golfer, the old rogue himself, Mickey Love. Hi, Mickey. Hello, Paddy. Back on the old sofa, eh? I see you've had it recovered recently. What have you a couple of your old pullovers, did they? <laughs> hey, I'm only kidding. You have to laugh. You have to what? You, you have, have to, to laugh. laugh. Absolutely. <laughs> Now, listen, I'm going to come to the book in a minute, but first of all, I'd like to ask you about Family Values, because it's been a tremendous success. Well, it's as bad it has. Now, it's a bittersweet book, isn't it? Is, it? Because it is. it's got the showbiz, but it's mm. also got the drinking. Well, I've tried to uh, I've tried to be as honest as I can with my public out there, um, because I have to admit it, yes, I have in the past had a problem with uh, alcohol. Mm. I'm telling you, you watch it. That's very kind. <laughs> This is the teacher of television. Forget Saturday Night Live, forget Network 7. This is going to change the face of youth TV. It's sexy, it's punky, it's spunky, it's got balls, and it's got me. Let me run you through a sample menu. You know Cher, Cher, the American singer. Intelligent storylines. Wait a minute, you've just described change. It's raw, it's out there, it's happening, it's in your face, it's up your ass, and I'm offering it to you. Brilliant. What about a title? Anything Goes. <clears throat> Anything Goes? Or a new peak time game show? Peak time, live. <laughs> Dangerous. I think it has potential. It's got potential. Yeah, it's got enormous potential. Oh, like a coffee? Great. I'll fix myself a box. Righty ho. Uh, Dave, could I have a word with you, please? <laughs> <laughs> it's got disaster written all over it. And the bitch likes it, you know what this means? One of the other peak time shows is gonna have to go. Crosswits. Kiss and tell. Or family values. Thank you, Violet. Yeah, thanks, Violet. Well, I mean, it can't be family values. Mickey's rock solid, and uh, so is Paddy. Mm -hmm. Only one man for the job, really. Bye, bye, Bob. Spend some time in court with the missus. Family values. Family values. It's finished. Look <laughs> 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 the book again if you can. See you, Paddy. Okay. You'll yeah. be all right. How's the life? Oh, fine. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. I thought you had to. No. Oh. Hello. 
제가 안 그래 태우지 Morning, Tessa. Yeah, what about last night, eh? Wasn't he fantastic? Wasn't he fantastic? Faldo, he stuffed that yank five to four. The little nine iron that did it, and I told him about that. And get this t shirt stolen up before tomorrow. <laughs> Morning, love. Morning. Morning, Sue. Hey, now then, what's all this about three shows? Russell called me last night. He was doing three shows today. Today? Get out. Don't see how are you. Did it work all right? Yeah, sure. By the way, that new driver of mine needs a bloody good rocket. In fact, he needs to be out. One of those screens in the car. Yakety yakety yak. Bulletproof. Bulletproof screen. <laughs> That's what we need. Soundproof for me, bulletproof for him. <laughs> you have to laugh, don't you? You have to what? Yeah. You have to laugh. Absolutely. Where's Russell, our producer? Hmm? Remember? Quick as you like, Pumpkin. I want to be in my office now. Mickey. <sighs> Mickey. Oh. Mickey, I need a word. Not now, Tamsin. Three shows. We'll be here all night. Where are the scripts? On your desk. Sure they are. You're a puppet. Mickey, they're axing the show. What? It's very important. Ah, Russell. No, Russell, come on in. No, no come, 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 come in. Come in. Let's have some lights, David, please. Right, for those of you that don't know, those of you that do, this is Russell James. This is Mickey's producer. He's our man on the inside. Um, he's finally agreed to stitch his mate up good and proper. I think it's fair to say that without his uh, treachery, none of this would have been possible. So, say hello, Judas. No, 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 Oh. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Marry me. What? You got the job, didn't you? Yes! <laughs> 13 shows start straight away. <laughs> what, that, that teenager? That hormonal little runt is going to replace me? Mickey Love is going to replace my show? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Well, that's what she said. Don't make our replace family values. It's the station's number one program. Right. I, I, I had dinner with the head of programming last week, and she stated categorically that she wanted to renew my contract for the next three years. I'm sure Great she does. Great team. <laughs> Rock solid. That's how she described me. Rock Solid, a solitary beacon of broadcasting professionalism. Mickey Love's contract is up for renewal. Get on to his agent, will you? We can afford to be generous, thank you, Love. Oh. Generous? Are you sure? Quite sure. We hang on to the good ones. Everything else comes and goes, Tamsin. But we are in our 13th series. All right. Dean. <laughs> so great. Dean's in America anyway. Is he? Yeah. So his driver told me this morning. <gasps> well, it's obviously just a hoax. Obviously. A cheap joke. A cheap joke. Ha ha ha. Well, I'm satisfied. I'm convinced. Good. You sure you're right? Yes, I'm all right. Go away. You won't brood about it. Well, I'm going to brood about Greg Dean, aren't I? Oh, yes. Go on, bugger off. Now, here's one. Roger, a tax inspector from Ilford who can play God Save the Queen with his armpit. No, 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 no. It works exactly like this is your life. We have his family on one side and his friends from the world of showbiz on the other. I told you, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Did we get hold of Tim Felder? Nick Felder. No, he's in Sweden. Oh, that's a pity. I wanted to ask him about his family. Esther, love, here, listen, get ready for this. Don't shout at me. Here's a drag. They want me to do three shows today. Uh, yeah, look. Yes, yes, Esther, I did. I shouted at them, I yelled. I gave them a rock. I gave them a thunderous rocket. I mean, you, you know what I'm like. You can imagine, but what can you do? They pay the wages, so I've got to do three shows. Sorry. Oh, 
Thanks, love. I'm s no, don't come to the studio. Don't be silly. It's the boring old rubbish, you know. I'll see you at home. I'll give you a special kiss, eh? Eh? Do you love me? I love you, too. Hi, it's me. We're on for tonight. Yeah, come to the studio after the second show. Yeah. Fuck. And uh, if anyone asks, say that you're my niece, right? 400, no, a bit more than usual. No, that's fine. No, 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 that's fine. Uh, and perhaps, hey, don't forget all the special little uh, bits and pieces, eh? By 1972, he was in our homes five nights a week and the youngest millionaire on television. And my guests on the Mickey Love Show tonight include John Conte, Arthur Askey and Dora Bryan. But first, ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome the big lad himself, the MP for Rochdale, Mr Cyril Smith. So our first guest is Doreen from Doncaster. In comes Doreen. Hello, Doreen. See what her hair looks like. Do some stuff about that. Either that or the dress. Right. And you used to work in a supermarket. And I believe you've got a funny story about that, haven't you, Doreen? Mm -hmm. That's right. The baked beans fell on you, didn't they? Broke your legs, didn't they? <laughs> then I've got a choice of gags. Yeah. Uh, so I suppose you weren't too full of beans that day, Mickey Ooh. says. Or Mickey says, uh, I suppose you canned that job then, didn't you? Which Pick do you one. Think? Pick one. All right, beans it is. <clears throat> so I suppose you weren't so full of beans that day, Doreen, right? Yeah. Good. Now then, Doreen, I believe you brought your lovely little ten-year-old son, uh, Ale Alex. Ten-year-old son, Alex, whose hobbies include pissing, thieving and fart. Use your glasses. There's nothing wrong with my eyesight. Fishing, reading, and darts. Whose hobbies include fishing, reading, and darts. <laughs> and I believe when you were in hospital with Alex Doreen, you... <laughs> what is all that noise about, anyway? Apparently Greg Dean's marrying some girl on the second floor. Bastard be divorced in a couple of years, anyway. Greg Dean, consumer affairs correspondent. Right, now, they will come down like this. Top. Can you wait at the top? Well, he's of never seen the the top of He's coming. He's on his way now. Oh, oh, right. Someone to date him. Who's the drapes, please? Can we take the chairs out now? Colin! Right, morning all, morning all. Here comes Vicky. Right, Dave. Right, oh, see the broker's made of me, didn't he? Ha, ha, ha. Hey, you. Linda, I don't want a green face next week. All right. <laughs> Phil, John. I think tonight. What on? Uh, John. Toby, what's the matter? Toby. What's going on? Uh, master phone, please. I think there's something on. Something specific. A hunch I've got. Atmosphere. I want you to put your feelers out, Martin. Martin? Martin, can you hear me? Shit, 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 bollocks! Oh, um, oh. Hello. <laughs> uh, well, I'm Mickey, aren't I? <laughs> you caught me doing my swearing practice. <laughs> have you come to see the show, girls? Yes. That's yes, marvellous. Yes. Where have you come from? Wales. Now, I know what you're going to say. You're going to say it's a coincidence. What? Well, I made a few calls and uh, apparently there was a meeting on the fourth floor. Greg Dean's not in America. No, no. Greg Dean was in the meeting on the fourth floor with the head of programming and those other two. It's a coincidence. I know. I know. I told you not to breathe. <laughs> yeah, no, you're quite right. Satisfied? Satisfied. No, no, absolutely. It's pure coincidence. Purely. <laughs> so I just want you to work your way back along the room. Till we get to the truth. Mickey. Just so we can stop thinking about this once and for all. I can't leave the phones. That's all right. I've arranged for Dennis to man the phones. Dennis is a cleaner. So we can give him a quick polish while he's at it. Please. Hello, Vista TV. <clears throat> David Critchley's office, please. I'll, I'll, tr I'll try and transfer you. Uh, 
David. Martin Bone. Mickey's agent. Listen, love, I've just had Mickey on the line in a terrible state. He hasn't twigged, has he? I mean, that's all we need. You know him. Percy Paranoia. <laughs> I don't see how he could... Well, unless some idiot's gone and warned him. Look, don't do anything till I get there, which will be in about, um... Oh, two minutes' time. OK. Right. Let's start at the beginning. I heard it from you. Who did you hear it from? Who told you? Well... Right, you told Sharon. Who told you? Where did it happen? What did they say? Did they really say that they're acting family values? Because you're a fabulous show here. Family values. That's it. Come on in. Sit yourselves down. Get yourselves warmed up. Right, I'll be there. I'll be there. No worries. Who told you? Oh, I swear I don't know where she got it from. Who? The waitress. Fine. Yes. Stand by studio. One minute, please. Right, here we go. So keep it up, will you please? OK, everybody, good luck, everybody. Oh, Doors open, Martin. Come on in. Right, stand by studio. Stand by Mickey. 30 seconds. Now, please, can we keep the noise down? You know him, Percy you Paranoia. Know him. Percy Paranoia. Percy Paranoia. Percy Paranoia. Percy Paranoia. <laughs> coming out with a shotgun. Mickey! What is it? What? What? It's all true! What's true? <laughs> On my life, sir, it wasn't my fault. I couldn't help overhearing. Overhearing what? Dropping the show, sir. Family values. It's that young Mr. Dean. I don't like him. Not does the husband. And now, it's time... Thank you. ...Family Values. And here's your host, the family man himself... Mickey Love! <laughs> Keep that applause going, John. We're going to need him in a good mood. Audience. What a marvelous audience! What do you think? Does he know? Oh, if he does, he's made a damn good job of hiding it. When did he ever make a bad job of anything? <laughs> <laughs> Same value in pounds is taken away from your score! Taken away from your score! That's right! Let's get on with the fun! And first up is Doreen from Doncaster, ladies and gentlemen. What do you have to do? Yeah. So laugh! About the baked beans, isn't it? Baked beans. Baked beans. Pyramid of baked beans. You fell on it. Yeah. Broke your arm in two places, didn't it? Fred so, yeah. <laughs> Broke your arm in two places. Well, I suppose you can do that job, didn't you? Oh, no. <laughs> Don't suppose you were too full of beans that day. <laughs> Moving swiftly along, we get to the Hendersons from Harrogate. I went to Harrogate once. It was closed. <laughs> I am only kidding. <laughs> that your son, Dennis, punctured his lung. Yeah. And so, Betty, I'm a bit of a naughty Mickey. A bit of a naughty Mickey tonight, and I'll tell you why, because Family Values, ladies and gentlemen, this evening is proud to add to your fund for little Dennis's lung the sum of £250, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, Lisa, round of applause for the money. Come on, there it is. £250 for little Damien and his one lung. Belisha Beacon. <laughs> Stand by studio for the break. We're going to be taking a short break. Find out what happens right after this. John Peel? Not bad. Yeah, what about that French bloke, Antoine de... No, 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 it's too, it's too, it's too French. Yeah, well, uh, John Noakes. Jeez, it's not that quack. Moss, moss, moss. It's not all that ever here. Can I, you make it more like moss? I know, look. I think you'll have to talk. And with all that classical music. What? Some old stuff. That doesn't work too well. I'll talk to tell me. OK. Martin. Love you. No, Bruce. Desmond. Willis. Side. 
Uh, half a Chablis for me, please, and a tonic and Angostura for Mr. Love, love. Thank you. Mickey, lovey. Good to see you, sweetheart. Take it, Evo. Your big day. <laughs> yeah. no. Have you uh, noticed anything strange at all? People treating you differently, looking at you as if they know something and you know. Maybe. And you don't know what? <laughs> no, I've got a pretty good idea. No, you haven't. <laughs> Nothing could possibly prepare you for the shock that's coming. Yeah, fascinating. Martin, what is 10% of nothing? Um, nothing. Why? Okay, so you don't understand the ramification. <laughs> Which makes it even harder to understand why you've got that stupid grin on your face. It's great! What's great? Look. It was always gonna happen, old love. It's just a question of time. Really? Don't think you should have had your ear to the ground and done something about it? I've known all along. Really? Right from the very I mean, don't think as my agent, as my best friend, you should have done something about it. No. <laughs> no. Quite the opposite. As your agent and best friend, I think it's long overdue, old love. Really? Well, then, let's see how funny you think this is, because you are sacked. <laughs> you are sacked. You're right, love. What's the matter with it? Absolutely nothing. In fact, I'm just coming to my senses. Mickey loves contract and uh, generous. What does that actually mean? It means double what it's on now, or anything that Mark asks for, whichever flatters them all. Bye-bye, Martin. Is everything all right? Bastards. Mickey? Marty? My imagination, or are people laughing at me? Hmm? Oh, right. Right. Okay. All right then. All right then. Gloves off. Gloves off, Tansin. Gloves off. I haven't worked in the entertainment industry for 30 years to be put out by some talentless bed wetter like Greg Dean, so. I want you to start a counter rumor. What counter That Mickey Love is currently juggling several major bids from several major TV companies. But it's not true. I know. I know. That, Tamsin, is the beauty of it. You see, it's all a question of confidence. It's like Oscar Wilde used to say. Nothing so in engaging. In Nothing so enhances a reputation as saying no. Absolutely. It was Roald Dahl. Yeah. Was it? Well, well, same difference. Then, once they've seen just how big I've become, then it'll force them to reverse their decision. And if not? If not, then we shall just have to turn Wilma into reality, won't we? Channel 4, Ted Bryant, please. Mickey Dog. Oh, it's a meeting. No, uh, could, could you ask him to call me as soon as he gets out? And tell him, uh, tell him that uh, I've got something that might be of interest to him. Uh, me, as it happens. Well, I know he's very interested in Channel 4. What about Sky have offered a lot of money. <laughs> well, me, as it happens. Ta-da. Everyone looks fabulous. Yorkshire Television, Martin Fox, please. Uh, Mickey Love. Oh, is he? But look, could, anyway, could you ask him to call me at the studio, please? It's very, very urgent. 
Apparently there's an auction on Mickey Love. David Lyman, please, head of programming. Uh, Mickey Love's gone to Sky for double his salary. Mickey Love was the darling of London society and in 1972, three, he married for the first time. She was an Austrian model, actress and tart, Bridget Bonn. Put your claws away, dear. Tragically, this happiness oh, was about to come to an end. Yeah, we got these sex pistols here in the studio with us right now. His now notorious interview with the sex what? pistols saw him Nothing, sacked from word. the screen. Oh, yes, I'd forgotten about that. Say something outrageous. Dirty bastard. So, any calls? No. I'll try and connect your... No call. No. So, I'll try and turn the phone, though. So, any calls? Very important. No, 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 it is... No, Mickey, no. <laughs> what is the matter with me? Have they forgotten? Dennis! Dennis, get the extension, Dennis! Yes, thank you. Mickey, love. Respect! How are you doing, Mickey? Huh? Cracking your pants a bit, eh? Christ, I know I would be. Life flashing before your eyes. Still. Happens to us all. Christ, it'll probably happen to me one day. <laughs> you know something, Mick? You are an icon. See you. Look at the state of it. By 1978, Mickey's career had taken a new direction, meaning it was in the toilet. <laughs> oh, after a terrible accident on the M1, Mickey was lucky to escape with his life. Lucky to escape jail, more like. His first wife returned to her native Austria, and after five years of self-imposed isolation in North Wales, Mickey married quietly for the second time. Twelve years later, she is still his dragon, his wife. Here she will be, <laughs> um, Esther. Gregory Dean. <sighs> that little prat thinks I'm going down without a struggle. He's got another thing coming. There was a court appearance in 1989. <laughs> Probably just for parking on a double yellow line or something, but it won't hurt to ask a few questions. I don't believe <laughs> this. I want you to talk to his secretaries. I want you to find out who he calls, who he sees. And if there's anything dodgy at all, then I want to know about it. Mickey, what if he really isn't dodgy? Oh, but he is dodgy. <laughs> Trust me, Tamsin, he is. There's a skeleton in every cupboard. It's just a question of digging it out. All right, Petal. Still nothing on Mickey's contract? No, no, uh, not yet, I'm afraid. Hasn't that it? You got it sorted yet? Get hold of him for me, will you? Yeah, could I have Martin Byron, please? This is Tony Scott. Right. Well, um... <clears throat> could I leave him a message, please? Uh, could you tell him that I need to speak to him urgently about the renewal of Mickey Love's contract? I'll be in the office all day. All right, thank you. Satisfied? Oh. I've received any messages. Martin, thank God you're here. They've been calling all afternoon. It's about Mickey Love. I don't want to know. It is about Mickey. About his contract. Sod him. But if Brucey calls, put him straight through. Martin! Emma, Sally and Louise. Isn't that nice? And in the shrine, it's a bit wacky, it's a bit different. Call me new-fashioned, if you like. How old is he, anyway? I thought it was supposed to be some sort of law against children appearing on the television without their parents' consent. He's 23. You got that? Is he? Brilliant. Okay. Okay, when I was his age, I was interviewing the likes of Graham Greene, Hamid Ali, Henry Kissinger. The answer is... I'd like to see him tickle the likes of Henry Kissinger. Five minutes, Mickey. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Uh, well, I think it's funny. Hey. OK, OK, time is up. Time I'm is up. Fine. Not of course well. you are. But he's different. He's out there. Out where? Out there, where it's happening, you know. No, I don't know. Well, he speaks to the younger generation. Uh, <laughs> yes, he speaks to the younger hey, generation. Hey, 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 hey. I invented the younger generation. I know. <laughs> Tamsin, I really shouldn't tell you, but when he was about 17, Greg did some acting. Well, not so much acting, you know. One of those films. Are you sure? 
Why, is that bad? No, no. It's exactly what I want to hear. Stand by studio, one minute, please. Hey, 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 hey. where are you going, where are you going? I can't explain. But I've called a meeting. Sorry. I've got an announcement to make. Please yourself. That's a bit it. Life flashing before your eyes. What? Quick! I don't know how to explain that. God, it gives a lot. A defence? It wasn't traffic. <sighs> You're a genius! <laughs> Phone, uh, uh, quickly. Uh, Georgie Cripps, the editor of the Sun. And now, it's time for Family Values. And dig out those old programme ideas again. Family man himself. Mickey now! Okay, we're safe. He's on air. Okay, everybody. Now, listen. Shush, 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 shush. I've got an announcement to make. Okay, the reason I've called this meeting is there is going to be no third show this evening. Oh, oh. Why not? At least of family values, because tonight at 8.30, we are going to go live into 8 million homes with, wait for it, Mickey Love. We're going to give you the time of your life. Right. <laughs> and he hasn't got a clue. Hey, I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. You have to laugh, don't you? You have to what? You have to laugh, absolutely. All right. Well, with everything still to play for, we're going to take a short break. Find out what happens right after this. still to play for, not least the star prize. There she is! Four door, five speed, you name them, she's had them. No, she's got them. She's got them. <laughs> no, she has got them. He's in good spirits. Yeah, I know. Just when I thought he'd given them up as well. Fifteen seconds, everybody. See you next week! ta -da! I'll just go and wait in his dressing room then, yeah? Straight court. Ha! Greg Dean, we've got you now! <laughs> this is fantastic! Where'd you get this? Valora, his old assistant. They had a thing and he called it off and she went berserk. She nicked all this to blackmail him and then didn't have the guts. You know, usual story, blah, blah. Oh, and she said she'd be here in half an hour. Laura? No, Lisa. Who's Lisa? The journalist from the Sun. Oh, good. Did you look at them old program ideas? Got them right here. Oh. <clears throat> Love. What have you got? Mickey's Animal House. Mickey's Animal House. That's good. That's young, isn't it? That's very young. I'm sort not so fresh. sure. No, it's fresh. Punchy, you know. It's, uh, it's dangerous television. Mm. Extremely dangerous television. Be very popular. It's, uh, it's, you know, we could have funny camera angles and an audience full of haircuts and, you know, we could have cocaine in the dressing room, you know, and we could have punch-ups on air and... It, it's good. Hit me. Read it out. Mickey's Animal House. Mickey's Animal House. Good. Yes. Mickey introduces a pet. A yeah, pet. Good. Like that family. Good. And the studio contestants yeah. have to guess which yeah. celebrity yeah. it belongs to. Yeah. That's it, isn't it? It's a disaster. Who's that? Mickey. I forgot. Mickey. Mickey, it's me. Mickey, you never let anyone come to your dressing room. What do you want to do? Oh. It's full I'll I'll try and connect you. Hello. 
Who? Mickey Love? No, you've gone through the wrong extension. I'm, I'm Tony Scott, Deputy Head of Light Entertainment. Gardening quiz shows, celebrity noughts and crosses, trivia quizzes for the over 50s. It's musty, Tamsin. This is afternoon TV. It's the kiss of death. It's an audience of octogenarians and flu sufferers. You see, it's, it's, it's not street, you see. It's not, it's not out there. But neither are you. That is not true. Now, that is not true. I mean, my, my, my hair may be a bit shorter. I may have put on the odd few pounds here and there, and I may play the odd round of golf, but I am still rock and... No, I'm not. Well, well then. Back to the wilderness for me. <laughs> as much as I deserve. These phone messages for Mickey have uh, ended up all over the building. Oh, I saw who they were from. I thought you might like to see. Martin Fox's office, Ted Bryan, David Lyman. God, so it's true. What is it? A rumor I heard this afternoon that there was an auction on Mickey. I laughed it off at the time. Do you want me to talk to him? Or I could speak to him? No. I better deal with this myself. I can't afford to lose him. They said I was still number one. Mickey! Who did you call? They said I was a major part did you of call the Channel company's 4? future. Mickey, I can't yeah. understand why no one's calling us. Uh, back. It's all in the subtext, you see. You know, people say one thing and they mean another. Dennis. <laughs> Hello? Hello, Dennis. Tamsin. Put me through to Mickey's dressing room, will you? Oh, I don't know. You see know, and you say, oh, he's distinguished, isn't he? What you really mean is he's rickety rick rick old git, isn't he? You now! Know? Mickey, if this telephone doesn't ring, I have my like answer. When a politician says I want to spend some more time with my family, what he really means is, oh dear, I've been caught on the towpath again with my trousers down and my dick hanging out. Hello? Oh, Mr. Critchley, I'm terribly sorry. It seemed to have put me through to the wrong extension. I'm sorry to bother you. Mickey, how can we be so stupid? What they say, Mickey Love, you're a major part of the company's future. What they really mean is, Mickey, piss off. Mickey! What? Go. No. It's all gonna be all right. That's no go now. Not now. You can't. I might start to misbehave myself. I don't know. Bill, this is uh, Babs. Babs, who's uh, Mickey's, Mickey's niece. niece. Oh yeah. Uh, this gentleman will take you to hospitality. Who? Okay. Thanks. Right. Lovely. Look, um, the rest of the family are going to be here in a bit. So if you. So, rest of the family. I realise you've had other offers, but come on, go easy on me. Make it please. I have a limited budget. Jim, I'd like you to meet Jack, an old friend. Jack, this is Jim. Two faithful friends for the wilderness. Pro celebrity golf and crooked timeshare endorsements and and then, in a couple of years, we'll get caught speeding on the M25 with an underage girl in the front seat, and you'll help me through the painful divorce and the crippling alimony and the mental breakdown. And then, just when everyone thinks I'm well and truly buried, I will pop up in a double-glazing advert or in some playing Mother Goose in a, some out-of-season panto in the Isle of Wight. <laughs> Mickey? Not again. Mickey, you got a moment? Mickey, are you in there? Well, of course I'm in there, you vacuous tart! Vacuous tart? <laughs> Come on. There's no need for that. What do you mean, no need? I've only just started. <laughs> you bossy, fire-breathing, brown-shirted bitch!
Go on! Go on, leave Mickey Poo alone! I've got business to discuss with two very important friends, Jack and Jim. Never been so insulted. Poaching Mickey from right under my nose. Who is? Jim somebody and Jack. Jim McGowan. Multimedia. It's exactly his style. Then, then it'll be Jack Barr. Bastards. Well, if we've lost Mickey, we've lost him. We, 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 we just want you to babysit him, give him some coffee. And if there's any booze around, just keep it away from him. Yes. Me? Yes. I can't just hover over him like that. It'll look ridiculous. Besides, he'll want to know who I am. Oh, she's right. Yeah, what we need is some kind of an alibi. What you need is somebody else. Anyone know where I can find Mickey Love, please? Who wants to know? Lisa de Laszlo from The Sun. He is expecting me. <laughs> no. No. Just no. A few <laughs> anyway, he should be okay. Can anymore. you ask him to hurry up, please? I haven't got all day. Yeah, okay. Hi, I'm Lisa. All right. I'm uh, Babs, Mickey's niece. His niece? Well, that's what he told me to say, and anyway. Oh, shit. Mickey's stuff. And I thought he'd given all that up. <laughs> Mickey, you have got to be joking. The stories that I could tell you. I'm sure. Oh. Mr Love. Mr. Love! Interesting reading, isn't it? You must be Lisa from The Sun. <laughs> You've seen the snaps, have you? I particularly like the one of him in uniform. Ain't hey, no peeking when I sit down there. <laughs> Jesus. I thought you'd be pleased. Splatter that across your front page. Give you a bit of a scoop, wouldn't it, eh? Greg Dean having a little acting career. <laughs> hey, tell you what. Be interesting to uh, have a look at the movies themselves, wouldn't it? I mean, uh, yeah. What on earth do you suppose he's doing here? <laughs> I think I'm going to be sick. I know, I know. Is that his thingy, do you think, or is that his leg? <laughs> I said I've got to go on. No, 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 don't go yet. You haven't seen the one of him and the goat. Finally got on and it was there fixed. I'll never forget all the sweat pouring down his face. Pissed? I'll say more than that. I think it was paralytic, man. Seriously? Work your magic for one last time, ladies. I shall miss your talents and your sparkling conversation. <laughs> Do you know what the cruelest irony is? You want a killer blow? <laughs> that even as I sit here waiting for the chop, bookshelves all over the country are being stacked with the £9.99 version of our Mickey Love. Kick the moves. <laughs> Came bouncing. <laughs> Um, later on, as documentaries occurred around the Sex Pistols, that was the one piece of film that everybody wanted to get and never could. I'm going to my dressing room. Bill. Oh, Mickey. Bill. How are you? Good. Ah, 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 ah. How are you? Obviously doing well. How are you? All right. That's the man. That's the man! Where's my stunning script? Scrap the Greg Dean story. I've got something much better. All right! I'm coming! <laughs> Yes, all right! What? You bastard! I am gonna kill you. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Shit. Come on, kid. Come here! Oh, listen. How could you... Listen, Alison, Greg. I don't How want any could trouble. you do that? I didn't do anything. How could you show those photos? Listen. Come on, it was years ago. Was I years didn't ago. do you it. You know, I don't know that you've been... But for a start, I'd what? like you to get out of my don't dressing room. Touch my jacket. I'll touch what I like, young lad. Go. Don't touch that jacket. That hurt. Did it now? Did it now? So you want some too, do you? Ooh. You want to have a fight with me? Yeah, yeah, come on then. It's a fight. Well, don't start on me. Don't you start on me. Ah. Don't touch the hair. Sorry. All right. Now listen, Greg. What? 
Stand by studio, one minute please. Stand by Mickey. It's the biggest surprise of his life. He's no idea it's happened. <laughs> Jim and Jack, th those are his drinks. Please, there's been a terrible mistake. Please, give me five minutes. Stand by, Nicky, 30 seconds. <laughs> 15 seconds, Nicky. <laughs> what? Not to the script. Mickey! 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 What? Wait! No! He's here now. Sorry, sir. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Mickey, no, no, no. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Shit. shit, he's drunk. That's the night. Instead of presenting uh, uh, the hit show Family Values as you have for five long and successful years, Michael Stuart Love, yeah. it's the time of your life. Is it bollocks? The man is drunk, we're going live, and he's drunk. That's fine. That's fine. That's okay. That's the end of my career. But now, a vast array of friends to greet you. First, your loving wife, Esther. 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 Now, Hello, Rest darling. Rest behind the top hairstylist, your uncle Tony. Tony! Your nephew, <laughs> Fat Matt. Oh. Fresh from his window cleaning round, your godson, Tommy. Tommy! Uh, uh, your sister-in-law, Pat. Hello. Uh, hello. All right. We couldn't find him, but the DHS has helped here. You your brother, your dear brother, Eddie. Eddie. She's left her seven you? children at home. She's travelled from Tipton. Your loving sister, Trish. Trish! Hello, oh, hello. from 14,000 miles <laughs> and from Australia. You haven't seen her since you were 14 years old. It's Ellen. Auntie Ellen. How are you? Let the tears, tears flow later. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Auntie Ellen. And now, your lifelong friend. My obituary is of all the stars, your agent, Martin Boyd. <laughs> 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 this is my golden hat. Another steadfast friend who's guided your footsteps through five right, years you of family. Soft, 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 the old bastard. Five years of family. You tell a few cozy oh, anecdotes. Okay. You're a steam producer. Right, and then with Russ the bath is over, you kick the old bastard out of the back door. You should have thought of that before, the <laughs> saying goes. No, just hang on a minute, will you? There's something I think you should see. I saw it first. Is it about Mickey Love? Yes. Uh, can I get back to you, Alan? I'm not playing this no, one this time. Let's go I'm back. not playing let's go this, back this to time. Dancing. I'm not playing this. It's my life. Laurie, take it off him now. Just hold it on that audience. OK, get a commercial early. Take it out. Don't do take that. Take any Don't touch it. Don't touch it. He's just waxed to the Think of the ratings. Happy childhood. Happy childhood. This is what it's all about. Successful marriage. Who's ever heard of a successful marriage? Ours was only a success because we managed to get divorced before I throttled the bitch. <laughs> My life. It'll bury life. the creep for good. This is my life. Show business. And there's no business like show business like no business I know. <laughs> Everything about it is exciting. <laughs> Everything the traffic will allow. <laughs> it's exciting television, isn't it? We're getting this upstairs, are you? Getting all this Vista television? Getting this in the box, are you? See? You can't fob off Mickey Love with a couple of old anecdotes. Hmm? You can't fob off Mickey Love like this. <laughs> No. No. <laughs> this isn't goodbye, Mickey Love. Mickey, sweetie. <laughs> this is goodbye, Mr. Television. Are we still live? Mickey. Are we still live? Good. Any shareholders out there? Any shareholders? Well, I'd advise you to sell your shares because Vista Television is about to lose its franchise. Come on, then, let's have a bit of fun, shall we? 
Let's have a bit of fun with all the families at home. Is there anybody at home who'd like to play Family Values with Uncle Mickey? this show and let's meet the reason why. The dipsomaniac you love to hate. Let's meet the tosser, Mickey Love. Thank you. Anything goes. What a guy. He comes on the wrong way every week. How's the liver this Anything week? Anything goes. Sad old lush. Anything and that's right, goes. Yeah. Give him a big cheer because he's going to be dead soon. That's right. Later on the show, we've got some glass. Oh, come on. You have to what? <laughs> 